The Expert Life, Associate Sponsor Starmar, Trendsetters of Indian Fashion Wear in Singapore, Beauty Sponsor, Rupinis, Discovering the Divine Beauty in You. Welcome back after the break. Now let me ask you a question. What is fashion all about for you? Is it about looking good? Is it about what you're wearing? Or is it about something else? For me, fashion has always been about expression and attitude. You need to feel good to look good. Frankly speaking, understanding fashion can be a bit tricky. So to simplify it for you, we've got our talented fashion expert who's also a leading entrepreneur here in Singapore. You want to find out who she is? Let's take a look. Kavita Tulasinas is one of the most respected fashion designers in Singapore. She is also the managing director of Style Mart, a prominent name in the Singapore fashion landscape. Kavita has created a niche for herself by bringing high-end Indian fashion to the Southeast Asian market. Blending creativity with a keen sense of business, Kavita transformed her family enterprise into a thriving fashion house. The ladies are also making their mark. Miss Kavita Tulasidas, who transformed her grandfather's tailoring shop at Changi Village into Style Mart, a distinctive Indian fashion brand. Today, Kavita creates some of the most exquisite Indian infusion designs under her own fashion label. Kavita Tulasidas is our resident fashion expert and she will guide you through the wonderful world of fashion every week. As you can see, there's a big movement in expats. They move from country to country and it's a big mishmash of cultures. So how do you see that back in fashion? Well, Singapore is truly a cosmopolitan city and uh, we have people from all over the globe here. And the best part about it is this whole influence of different cultures. You know, we, you can see it in the way we live, in our attitudes and the food we eat and most definitely through fashion. So what is fusion fashion? Well, fusion fashion is about experimenting with different ethnic dressing and creating your own style. You know, it's really fun to try a chong sam with ethnic embroideries or even it's a ready-to-wear sari with Chinese embroideries. It's about, you know, having different elements from different cultures being sort of shown and identified through fashion. How do you actually fuse all these different cultures together? Well, I think it's all about, you know, um, doing the right thing based on each individual person. It's about, you know, mixing the different looks and putting it together. Um, a lot of kabayas today, we do them with ethnic Indian embroideries as well. It's chic, yet very, very elegant. What makes fusion dressing so exciting? It's an opportunity to sort of learn about someone's culture and their traditions. And I think it goes to show a true Singapore identity. We are living in this beautiful city with so many different cultures. I think the best part about living in this city is experiencing the different cultures. So you have created all these different styles, Indian, Malay, Indian, Western, and Indian, Chinese. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, I guess it's all about, you know, um, what sort of event you're going for, uh, the time of the day. And it's a lot about experimenting with the different cultures. Um, I understand the values behind these cultures. I understand um, the, the history that works and I think with the different body types and different kind of personalities really honestly it takes a personality mm -hmm. to carry it off. So how does one choose the right fusion fashion? Well it definitely depends on the occasion. I mean a lot of times if you're going for an Indian wedding then it's all about you know showing more of the ethnicity. But if it's a cocktail party or even a, a red carpet event mm -hmm. then I think it's about having a western silhouette with ethnic embroideries that highlights the, the garment. Mm -hmm. So it really depends which way we want to go. Where do you get all your inspiration from? I think I draw inspiration from the lifestyle I live here and the cultural values that I have uh, uh, learned. And it's really about a signature style that I have created. One of the labels that I carry is Asian woman. So it's all, a, and that label basically is a signature style of different cultures being shown uh, through my designs. Is it only for women? Well, with Asian women, the label is mostly a women's wear label. Um, I do small elements of, of men's wear, but it's not really a, a big part or a big uh, you know, source of fun for me. I have more fun with women's wear. Can fusion fashion also be day wear? A lot of women, uh, you know, turn to fusion fashion uh, even on a day-to-day -day wear. It's a, you know, it can be a, a Chinese collared blouse, for example, or a kaftan. 
so it really it's not about the time of the day um, yes you would use maybe a lot more ethnic embroidery for evening events because the bling is all about the ethnicity but at the same time there are a lot of beautiful hand looms and weaves that we can use to fuse the different looks and it can be a nice working wardrobe as well what do you think all women in Singapore should have in their closet? I think everyone most definitely should have a sari. Uh, I think the sari is such a graceful garment and it's a timeless garment. So having one sari at least in your wardrobe it should be part of every fashionista's collection. Um, and I think it really is something that works for all body types. Does fusion fashion come with specific accessories or specific shoes? How does that work? Th those things when it comes to your shoes just go with comfort and when it comes to accessories it's always about what's your style. Uh, dressing it up or dressing it down, everyone has got their own you know, personality that has to come through dressing. How do you feel that the fashion industry has changed over the years? I think uh, for me, I travel Asia uh, quite a bit. I, I look to Asia for my inspirations and it really brings out the different collections that I put across every year. Um, a year or two ago, I did a whole fashion segment on fusion fashion wear uh, on the runway. And uh, really, I drew a lot of my inspirations from, uh, from China and from Vietnam. Uh, it's about, you know, like sometimes even putting the ao dai uh, mixed along with something Chinese on an Indian sari. So here you go, you know, you have, it's a melange of what works and what looks beautiful. Kavita, if you give us a style tip about fusion fashion, what would it be? Well, I would tell all you viewers that fusion dressing is what Singapore is all about. You know, go beyond your boundaries and the norms and try your style. Show the world the fusion way. Thank you so much, Kavita. That was really fun and you had some really great tips. But don't worry about it. Kavita is our style expert and she'll be advising us on fashion in the next coming episodes. So stay watching, we're just going to take a short break and see you soon when we come back. The Expert Life, Associate Sponsor Star Mart, Trendsetters of Indian Fashion Wear in Singapore, Beauty Sponsor, Rupinis, Discovering the Divine Beauty in You. A sanctuary for your body, your mind and your soul. Discover the beauty within and feel divine. Rupinis. Video House, your media consultant for corporate and event production, branding and publicity, or to produce content. Please contact Aditi at videohouse.com or Raviraj at videohouse.com. Visit www.videohouse.com or call 6255-7482. For more details, like us on Facebook.